For what purpose does the gentlewoman from New Mexico seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and pass, and pass the bill S216. The clerk will report the title of the bill. Senate 216, an act to provide for equitable compensation to the Spokane Tribe of Indians of the Spokane Reservation for the use of tribal land for the production of hydropower by the Grand Coulee Dam and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentlewoman from New Mexico, Ms. Holland, and the gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. Westerman, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from New Mexico. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on the measure under consideration. Without objection, so ordered. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentlewoman is recognized. S216, the Spokane Tribe of Indians of the Spokane Reservation Equitable Compensation Act will finally compensate the Spokane Tribe of Indians for the flooding of their tribal lands that occurred with the construction of the Grand Coulee Dam more than 75 years ago. Located in Washington State, the Grand Coulee Dam was built in the 1930s and 40s. The reservoir it created flooded approximately 2,500 acres of the Spokane Indian Reservation. These lands held great economic, cultural, and spiritual significance for the Spokane tribal people and included the tribe's historic salmon fishing sites. Around the time of the dam's completion, the Indian Claims Commission Act of 1946 was enacted, which gave tribal nations five years to file all relevant land claims against the federal government. Although the Spokane tribe filed a claim before this deadline, which was settled in 1967 for around $4,700, lands related to the dam were not included. The end result is that more than 75 years later, the Spokane tribe has still not received just compensation for the seizure and destruction of their lands. This has severely impacted the ability of the tribal government to provide for their people. This is also an issue of fairness and equity. The only other tribe impacted by the construction of the Grand Coulee Dam, the Confederated Tribes of the Colville Reservation, successfully secured a settlement with the United States in 1994 and have been receiving compensation ever since. S216 will require the Bonneville Power Administration to make annual payments to the tribe starting in 2022 to match the company's electricity sales, much in the same way the Colville tribes are compensated. The legislation has the support of the surrounding counties and local entities. Additionally, BPA stated at a recent subcommittee hearing on the bill that the annual payments to the tribe quote, will not result in perceptible rate impacts to its utility customers, unquote. The Grand Coulee Dam and the energy it produces has been a financial boon to the United States and the citizens of the Northwest. It's now time to make whole the Spokane tribe for their sacrifice. I want to thank Senator Cantwell for her tireless work on this issue on behalf of the Spokane tribal people, and I urge my colleagues to support the legislation and Mr. Speaker, I reserve the balance of my time. The, gentleman, the gentlewoman from New Mexico uh, reserves, about, uh, reserves uh, the gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself as um, such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. And during debate on this legislation in committee, a number of our members expressed concerns on the merits of the settlement achieved under S216. Ultimately, this bill authorizes a settlement to the Spokane tribe for damages as a result of the construction of the Grand Coulee Dam. As stated in the findings section of the legislation, after construction of the dam, the federal government recognized that the Colville and Spokane tribes should be compensated for their losses. Negotiations commenced and settlements were reached between the federal government and both tribes independently. No further claims were brought forward by the Spokane tribe, and as a result, the tribe's claims were deemed fully settled. Now, nearly 50 years later, Congress is granting a settlement to the tribe that will entitle them to a share of revenues from hydropower sales by the Boonville Power, Plant, uh, Power Administration in perpetuity. 
The main concern raised over our members was the potential of this bill as precedent to resettle claims between an entity and the federal government that have already been deemed settled. In addition, concerns have been raised that this legislation leaves the door open to off-reservation gambling. During the last 18 years, most House passed bills addressing tribal land issues have contained express restrictions on off-reservation gambling. S216 seems to be one of the few that does not. And I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from Arkansas reserves. The gentlewoman from New Mexico is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I have no further requests for time and would inquire whether my colleague has any remaining speakers on their side. Mr. Speaker, I yield minute, uh, four the, minutes. The, uh, the, the, yes, we do have a. The gentlewoman I, res from, I reserve the balance of my time. The gentlewoman from New Mexico reserves. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. And Mr. Speaker, I yield four minutes to the gentleman from Colorado, Mr. Lambert. The gentleman from Colorado is recognized for four well, minutes. And I thank the gentleman. Mr. Speaker, this is an important bill, but there is something even much more important this week in Congress. In 2012, President Obama was caught on camera giving Russia's then-President Medvedev a secret message to be given to his soon-to-be successor, Vladimir Putin. Let's stop the charade and kill this impeachment. Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time. And I yield back the balance of our time. The gentleman from Arkansas yields back the balance of his time. The gentlewoman from New Mexico is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would just like to remind uh, the House that this is an important bill uh, that will bring equity to the Spokane Tribe of Indians, and I urge my colleagues to support the legislation, and I yield back the balance of my time. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass uh, Senate Bill 2016? All those in favor say aye. Uh, let, me re let me restate that. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass Senate Dean. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, two thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table.